here is the full force of British India. Hello. How's it going? Thank you, Henry. Hey, I, I want to point out that this studio stands on the land of the Bunwarung people and uh, acknowledge their elders past, present, and emerging. Uh, we were kind of thinking about if we should open, like, kind of warm into it or if we should go hard first off and hard one. So this one's called Black and White Radio. It's a bit of an old song. <laughs> How's it feeling out there in the world of TV? That's not TV. <laughs> Ones and zeros. The internet. This is a first for us. Maybe it's a first for some of y'all. It's um, <laughs> quite an odd gig because for those watching at home, we have a TV in front of us and we're playing to ourselves. Oh, I don't find that odd, Will. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're playing to an alternate version of ourselves. Alternate version? It's us. <laughs> that's, that's you, man. Slightly behind the times, as always. <laughs> All right, that was uh, it's appropriate to start with that. That's the first track on our first record, but where to from here? You know, do whatever. Uh, so <laughs> I don't have a set list. <laughs> well, no one has a set list. I've just got notes of what I'm supposed to not say. The <laughs> F word, for example. Uh, right. This one's called I Thought We Knew Each Other. <laughs>
warming into it, warming into it. It was in 2015, we uh, went to Berlin, Germany to record a record. Worked on that record for about, uh, I think it was a month or so. We came back and it wasn't very good. So uh, we recorded the whole thing again. The label were pissed, but uh, it was worth it to say we went to Berlin to record a record. Record a record. It's called, the album was called Nothing Touches Me. This first song is called Spider Chords. Goes out to my man Jamie T. I'm sorry I arrived late again after all and missed the whole thing again. But looking around, I see I arrived just in time, just in time for the end. Watching every single step She's lighter than a feather I am heavier than lead True, I lied to you Hands are down, voices down but Just as long as it helps If I've lied to you Could only be half as much I've lied to myself I'm following behind you Watching every single step She's lighter than a feather I am heavier than lead Holding on to silence, I mean nothing that I said She's lighter than a feather, I am heavier than men Say cheers to uh, Delivered Live for uh, putting us on. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Truik. I was like, did I just say the wrong thing? <laughs> 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 delivered Live, yeah. Um, it's been looking forward to. Uh, we found out about this gig I think a weekend ago, and we're like, man, it's gonna be awesome. Get to see our buddies, but it's not fun. Well, hard at work. <laughs> There's no beers or anything. We can't come. These these lights here indicate how close I can get to them. It's, it's my personal, yeah, that's how close they can get to me. <laughs> uh, so I hope that uh, isolation's going good for you guys and uh, you're all being patient and well behaved. I gotta say, uh, this song uh, we're gonna do now is called uh, Plastic Souvenirs. It's about, I read the lyrics on a road trip. I was thinking, man, I would love to do a road trip when this is over. I miss road trips. Um, it's quite good because uh, I get to do my 
uh, Alex Jones impersonation. Yosh, and that's spout really... some uh, right wing yeah. uh, <laughs> obscenities. So, yeah, uh, we put that's the other thing. We put Alex Jones on this on this track on the on the, on the album, and then it, he turned. I mean, we already knew he was awful, <laughs> but then he became awful and popular, and it's like, oh <laughs> man. You don't want to be tired with that brush. I mean, the band's already called British India. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Play a song, man. <laughs> Plastic souvenirs. So I think that my understanding, and it might be, that's not, this is my, I know, is that the format is you guys can watch for free, but you should buy tickets, and then it goes to regional venues and supports live music. So thanks for watching, but if you're a really good human, you'll go ahead and buy a ticket, please. <laughs> it's not, that's not to say that if you don't buy a ticket, you're a bad human. I don't get to make that call. It's not. <laughs> Judge and execution. We gonna do vanilla? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was um like when I found out we were doing this gig, I started watching a lot of like Metallica live um, Metallica like in stadiums to get prepared. It hasn't turned out to be anything like that. <laughs> but at the start of Sad, but on the start of the solo or one of the solos in Sad but True, um, James goes, "Mr. Hammett." I was thinking I got to do that in vanilla for Jack. <laughs> So we'll, we'll Just see how that call goes. Him Mr. Hammett? No, I'll call him Mr. What's your last name? <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke, obviously. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how this goes. It's going to be great. So watch out for that part. Also, I want to dedicate this to my friend Katie, who has been sick, but she's getting better. It's like the only person I know who was tested for the virus, and she's fine. So we're really happy about that. This one's for Camilla. <laughs> things out there in ISO land. Good. Glad you're doing well. Thanks for supporting live rock and roll. The most, Im yeah, <laughs> the most important industry we have. Man, if anyone, if, if any viewer who has supported live rock and roll, none of you have supported as much as this man here. What? Yeah, I love live rock and roll. Good. 
Um, let's just do suddenly. Rock and roll. It's, we don't want to go. We don't want to go over time. And reflect, I'm looking forward to my chat with Mr. Wagons over at the bar. Floyd, <laughs> we've heard from Woods. Thanks to Woods for getting this party started. Right. It's from the Nothing Touches Me record.
We've just been given permission to play overtime. Yeah, well, uh, we can do that. We can do that. We'll stay, stay here all night. <laughs> Is that convincing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we haven't done anything from uh, the Thieves record. I know that's a lot of people's fave. Came out a couple of years ago now. The last track off that album is called One Day Years. <laughs> Not called that, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> uh, this one goes out to the, the legions of um, British India fans, the British India Army or whatever the fans' names are. Thanks for looking, supporting us for so many years and watching tonight. Absolutely. You guys are the best. Oh. Our viewers, um, like I said, you can still buy tickets, it's the right thing to do. You love when a gig becomes like proselytizing, like talking down to y'all. <laughs> buy a ticket, come on. I'm not, I, I wouldn't be a very good car salesman, just it's handy. All, it's all back to last true. That's true, yeah. <laughs> if, if, if nothing else has been established tonight, I would not be a very good car salesman. <laughs> Glad we got that straightened out. All right, good night, guys.
gonna say this has been real fun. A real fun playing for you guys. Uh, cheers to Woods. Cheers to my man Henry Waggins. My man Sammy Shaw. Uh, we've been British India. Good night, Australia. enjoyed their performance here on Delivered Live. How amazing was that? Declan will be over really soon to have a chat before you go into the night, into the horizon of your own living room and perhaps the bottom of your own Negroni glass. Uh, a big shout out to Boo, our backline wizard and partner cat. I mentioned them last week. They have had the baby. A big shout out to you guys. Uh, also, congratulations to Christy McGregor. You have yourself a fresh pair of Audio Technica headphones. As Complex Little Pirate said, if the postman's the only company you're getting for the week, you've got a visit on the way, Kirsty, and uh, it's going to be surround sound uh, victory for you. How about Delivered Live? This is as close to a pub gig as you can get. There was a moment I had during the British India set where I looked over at Declan, sort of buckled over his guitar, and I looked at his black T-shirt, kind of 
with a sweat patch um, around about uh, the solar plexus. And I thought, I am at a live gig. How does this happen? It's not supposed to be happening ha now, but it is in the best possible, safe and secure way here at Delivered Live. I'm loving this. Don't forget, head to deliveredlive.com.au. I know it's a weird concept, the idea of buying a ticket after the gig's over, but think of it as, you know, Billy Joel playing in some New York underground bar, passing his hat around after the performance, a young Billy Joel. What a strange and pointless analogy because <laughs> Henry Wagon's hosting. I hope you have a great time. Declan from uh, British India, come and have a seat. You absolutely slayed. So much, Henry. Sure. Good to see you again, mate. I love that you're bucking the rock and roll tradition as opposed to at the end of a, a savage rock and roll performance, um, a front person will take off clothes. You've yeah. put on an anorak. I thought um, <laughs> you'd, you'd already pointed out the sweat patch once. <laughs> you didn't. You draw, you draw attention to it. No, it, in it fact, when you were talking about the sweat patch, I was hurriedly running back over <laughs> to get my jacket. So thanks for that, man. No, uh, apologies. <laughs> no, it, quite sincerely, it was a it was a moment for me, like to actually see a, a sweating pulsing, <laughs> heaving band on stage is actually a real privilege at the well, moment. Thanks so much, man. That's really nice. You know, I suggest YouTube, but... Uh, well, <laughs> you, you wouldn't know, be here, though, in, if it was YouTube, would it? Totally. Yeah. I mean, look, it's one of those things people are doing to get through isolation is kind of reliving the glory days, those stadium gigs of their favourite bands, showing them, you know, just putting them on their flat screens at home. Mm. Um, what do you watch when you go to YouTube? You know, people have just enjoyed your set. What do glad, you watch? I'm glad you watch? stopped at YouTube. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I watch um, Metallica. I watch Metallica live. That's uh, uh, Radiohead of all. What era? What era? Black Album. First place Black Album. Solid. Yeah. Excellent choice. Um, that's, that's, prob that's probably bad. That's where it's dry, dried up for me. I, I caught an um, Ian Jury set. Oh, it's yeah. Like, um, oh, no, I mean, my, a, buddy, a friend of mine, we watched... Um, uh, stop making sense from start to finish. It's awesome. It's like perfect. Like uh, I think we just wanted to put one song on, but then we it's it's, it's quite watchable. Was yeah. it because of this viral era that you sat down and had the time to watch it all? Yeah, like it was. Yeah, well, I don't think we would have done it otherwise. So hey, there's uh, silver linings, right? Uh, you got to you got to find what you can. Silver on. linings and golden jackets. Yeah, well, you got. You got both. You're yeah. surrounded. Um, I got a great... I, I asked, as I always do, what I should be asking you yeah. during your set over on YouTube. And John on uh, YouTube has been waiting seven years to ask you a question. Well, actually, your band in, in, in particular, uh, Will, uh, but perhaps you could answer on his behalf. Oh, I'll, I'll so see how I go. John uh, saw you lucky seven years ago at the Royal Theatre in Canberra. Yeah. 2013, we're talking. You're in trouble, and Will. you did a <laughs> sort of special guest performance at a local battle of the, of the bands. Yeah, yeah. And you kindly signed everyone, uh, signed a CD single very graciously, but then Will walked off with the pen... So his question is, can he have his goddamn pen back? Yeah, what do you say, Will? It's professional television. If he here. sends... John, if, uh, if you send in your address, Will will send you your pen back. You, you, have you ch cherished that pen ever since? He, uh, uh, so here, the, the Will has a... Oh, be careful of your social distance if you do come. Oh, cool. but, yeah, true. Um, so, good point. Will has a favourite pen which you, he will... You will... Will is going to pass on to you for time in lieu, his favourite pen of all time. So that was from a question from John or... Dave? From John. From John. Everything all right, John? Like you've been thinking about this pen for eight years. I, mean, it's, I know. Yeah, you've got to want it. But you be, think about strange things. I've been having strange vivid dreams and unusual occurrences and strange mm. memories and wormholes I'm disappearing in. What sort of has been different about this strange time for you? I think yeah, I, it's, it's hard to say what's... I, I haven't been too hard hit. You know, I've, I've kind of almost... In, there's a lot to like about quarantine, I feel. Cause, um, uh, 
What are you loving? Like uh, it's giving a lot of people time to I've, reflect. Um, I'm very embarrassingly, I've moved back to my, my mum and dad's house, more or less, because um, my excuse is that, uh, I don't, there's no excuse, is there? But um, that I don't really have the internet in my house. I need it for work. So I've, I've gone back there and it's like, you just really, I've really regressed to like my 15-year-old self, which I, I think was my best self. <laughs> have, are there still posters up of Metallica on your bedroom walls? No, they took, they took them. My dad burnt them. <laughs> yes, that was Fair around enough. the time I started playing Dungeons and Dragons. He's... You got the satanic panic and, uh, and thought, what's this devil worshipping stuff? What do you do for work? Uh, rock and roll, man. Yeah, <laughs> you need administrative emails. It's put, it, yeah. Keeping a, a band churning along yeah. during this time is a strange and, you know, a surreal time. Mm. You know, what did you have planned? What did you have to cancel? How is this all? We had heaps of shows, actually. Um, we kind of done – we just, just – We've taken a year off and then we got Jack in the band um, to, to those who have been following probably know that. Um, so we did some shows with Jack and I think we just wanted to do a few, but they were so fun and the band sounded so cool. We're like, we've got to do the whole, you know, we've got to go back and do the places we missed. So um, we had, I think it was um, June and July, like middle of winter. We had Brisbane, uh, Canberra, a bunch of other places. So we had to cancel a bunch. But I think they've been, I, in fact, I know, excuse me, they've been res rescheduled for, for September. So y'all can still... Fingers crossed. Yeah, we can no, keep that's, this. that's probably a bit optimistic. Well, let's see. Yeah, uh, I things mean, every, are changing the thing is, every everything's, day. everything's happening so fast. It's like you, you couldn't have predicted where we'd be now two weeks ago. And, no, you know. So yet, you, you, once again, applying that logic, you can't predict where we'll be be two weeks ago. I'm, I'm, an, I'm actually a shocking pessimist. So I, th I think it'll be till 2000. As a shocking pessimist, where do you think we're headed? Uh, world history. <laughs> yeah, we'll be talking about this, right? I think that, you know, this will test the very fabric of, uh, of Western capitalism. Yeah. This could be <laughs> got there the downfall of it's, uh, uh, norm, our norm, economic plan. I'm here before I mention the death of Western <laughs> capitalism. Well, we haven't even opened the bottle. I like it. We speak truth. This is live TV. This hey, is what it's, it's all cool. I, I like the setup at the bar. It's a bit like Hugh Hefner or something. Like, do you ever, I know. Uh, it might be the sequin jacket. I'm, uh, I'll wear a robe it's for like you here, next here we week. are at the bar, man. <laughs> it's good. Oh, it's I, good. I'm into it. I actually saw, speaking of your gigs in September, I there were some people that were commenting on YouTube that on the strength of tonight's performance, they'd gone online and booked tickets for your September tour. So Fuck fingers him. crossed you don't have to delay them. Great. Yeah, we well, hope not. Yeah. It was good. Uh, you were so tight and Thanks. so together during the show. I'm just wondering the logistics of how did you get this together in this era like how does a band rehearse at the moment we didn't rehearse man no we our last show uh someone can, in the band can help me where it was in february in western australia um, Whoa. so i don't yeah look man we've been doing this a long time um muscle memory professional man so it's professional uh, entertainment yeah a, a big part of what we do here at delivered live is based on the the tickets that the fact that those that are doing okay can go to deliveredlive.com.au and grab a ticket at your own entry point of choice. All that money is redistributed amongst the artists, all of the crew and everyone, that the ticketing agencies and, and venue that have gone to put this gig on. Mm. And we also ask artists to nominate their favourite venues and road crew uh, to get a chunk of the ticket sales for tonight. Who have you nominated? We nominated the Nash in Geelong. The Nash. See, that is where I met you. Right. I, I think we actually shared. Oh, no, no, we didn't. I got it wrong. It's not the Nash. Barwin Club Nash. in Geelong. Oh, the. <laughs> the Nash doesn't exist. The Nash anymore. was condemned, right? I thought it might have made a. a and rise now I have things. been condemned because I was been about to say like, oh, this is our favourite venue got the name wrong. Say. No, no, not ideal. Yeah. The Barwin Club's great too. So this is like an exam, Jesus. <laughs> I feel Barwin Club is great, and that's why we nominated it to put the to. To put our proceeds towards. So good. We Such good there. food. And I love those venues like the Barwon Club uh, that I, I love playing too where it, it's sort of the, the stage is more or less in the corner of a room. Yeah. So like you're a naughty school child and you've been sent to the corner but you actually get to turn around and spit venom back at the teacher yeah. as a rock and roll band. Do you yeah. know what I mean? We, the shows, we, I think we've done like two shows that recently have been absolutely wild. Like, yeah. yeah. It's still like... Yeah, crazy, crazy times there. Bowen Club is an excellent choice. And Declan, thank you and band British India for absolutely spitting the venom I was talking about in the best possible way. You made a lot of people's nights. Great. 
Thank, thank you hey, so much. And also, man, I shouldn't be on, like I'm, I've always been a massive fan of yours, so it's nice to chat. Yeah, you sort thank of you for setting crowbar the bar that so into low. conversation. Yeah. Hey, thank you, Declan. It's well, it's great to talk to you. I'm looking forward to talking to you in closer quarters, ladies Good and one. gentlemen. Declan from British India, what a legend! Round of right. applause. Thanks. Awesome show, gentlemen.